All right, guys, welcome back to another edition of Roof Lines. This is Roof Lines. Today we're going to be talking about the pitfalls of polyiso and all of the mistakes that can be made whenever you are bidding a job. Really take the time, really look at the specifications. Get asked all the time, type 1, type 2, type 4, type 5, class 1, uh, class 2, class 4, what is uh, the PSI, what are the grades, grade, class, type, very confusing to say the least. So let's go over it, let's dig right in, let's get through this. So glass reinforced felt, that is going to be your standard poly ISO. You can get it pretty much every day of the week. Distributors that stock this, it is not really a special order item unless it is a different thickness or if you have a, a large quantity, most distributors should have this in stock. This is your standard poly ISO. It can come in one inch all the way up to four and a half inches. You can even get half inch poly ISO. 20 PSI is your standard. You can go 25 PSI. So this right here is type two, okay? Type two, class one. Glass fiber reinforced both sides. Grade two or grade three. Grade two is your 20 PSI. So let's go over it again for people that weren't really paying attention because I'm going kind of fast. Type two, okay, class one, and this is grade two. Grade two, class one, type two. That is your standard poly ISO. Whenever you see something in a specification and your spec is gonna be ASTM C1289, your standard type two, Class one, grade two, that's 20 PSI. Okay, now where most people make serious mistakes is they will see the type two, but then they don't see the class two. Class two is going to be your coated glass facer. Coated glass facer is a lot different than your glass reinforced felt, okay? All of the same sizes, but this takes a while to order. Okay, this stuff is a lot more fireproof than your paper facer, okay, or the glass reinforced GRF for the poly ISO. This is CGF, coated glass facer. Type two, class two, grade two, or grade three, okay? It's still type two, 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 okay? Grade two, grade two, where does it differentiate? It is in the class. This is class one, your standard stuff. Class two, look out for class two. This is gonna trip you up. It is a lot more expensive. It is not readily, readily available. You will have to special order it, okay? <laughs> Tapered comes in both of these as well, so be very careful with that. All right, now let's go to type two, class four. Not eight, four, class four. Now you're getting into your half inch high density poly ISO. This is also gonna have your coated glass facer on top. Type two, class four, half inch thick. 80 PSI up to 109 PSI. Okay, let's recap once again, these three, okay? I'm not gonna go over it again and again and again, but all of these are type two. Class one, class two, class four, okay? There you have your paper facer. There is your coated glass facer. This is also a coated glass facer. You can also get this in a paper facer. Be very careful, you gotta know what you're looking at. It's very, very easy to make a mistake with these types of insulations. Now, let's jump into type one. What are they talking about when it's type one? Read the specification, guys, because if it's type one, it is a foil face, okay? Oil face is type one, class one. Type one, class one, and you can get a grade two, which is 20 PSI, or grade three, which is 25 PSI, okay? Oil facer. You know that they don't have this sitting on the shelf. You know this is special order, and you know that this is gonna be expensive. Okay, type four. Now you have the poly ISO sprayed onto a high density board. So, here we go. 
you had your high density board, which was class four. Class four is half inch thick. Then you had your class two, which is coated glass spacer. Both of these are basically sandwiched together, but this one's made first and this one is sprayed right over the top of it to make this board right here. You have your poly iso right there, half inch uh, high density poly iso right there too. This is type four. It's available in uh, grade two and grade three. What are the grades? Grade 20 PSI, 25 PSI. You better be ready to get a good grade on this because there is going to be a test afterwards. It's called your profit margin, okay? Pay attention. Type five, you have your OSB, you have your poly iso spray right to the top of it. This can come in class one. Remember, class is your facer. Class one is going to be your glass reinforced felt. Those, yes, it's available in grade two and grade three. Remember, your grades are your PSI. Grades, 20 PSI, 25 PSI. Make sure that you don't miss any of this, guys. Okay, recap. Type one, foil. Type two is going to be your standard poly iso with your paper felt on there or paper baser, glass reinforced felt. Then you also have your grit type two, class two, class two, coated glass facer, class two, coated glass facer. But actually this is a class four. Didn't mean to trip you up. This is a half inch high density poly iso with the coated glass facer on top. Okay, very confusing. I hope you're ready for the test after this because it's coming soon, it's coming at you. Also, tapered, okay? Why do you have tapered poly iso? Well, it goes from a half inch all the way up the roof and then you start stacking it and that is to create positive drainage, positive water flow either off the roof or into the drain. You also have sumps that you can get up there. This is a very small sump, it's not really made by like this. It's either a four by four or a four by eight. Any pitch that you want it to be, quarter inch on 12, half inch on 12, three eighths inch on 12, and that is the slope of the taper. The taper is made with the poly iso. Remember, class one, paper facer. Class two is going to be coated glass facer, okay? Also suggest to have some of these carry around in your wallet, okay? It has all of your tapered panels right there and then all of your thicknesses for your poly iso along with R value. Let's back up, let's digress, okay? Why would you want to have a coated glass facer? Because I've been asked that before. Why are architects wanting to go coated glass facer instead of the, the standard glass reinforced felt? Okay, why not paper facing? Well, I'll tell you one reason. It's because of fire, fire, fire. <laughs> Another reason to have coated glass facer is if you have new construction, structural concrete decks, lightweight concrete decks, you still have some moisture in there. Remember, coated glass facer is not going to um, be affected like a paper facer would whenever you have moisture. Whenever you get this moist, whenever this gets wet, it's going to cup, it's going to bow, and then you'll get some growth on it, some microbial growth. Coated glass facer doesn't have those, those types of problems. Also, if you're going to be using a water-based adhesive for your membrane, you want to go coated glass facer as well. Coated glass facer, whenever you are mechanically attaching it down or adhering it down, it has better negative pressure, okay, better uplift values. It is much stronger than a paper facer or a felt facer. Back to the uplift performance, okay? Coated glass facer, 255 pounds, where you have your black facer, 
your paper facer, your standard facer, the stuff that distributors always have in stock, this is only 150. Big difference, 255, 150, 255, 150. One more thing, guys, before I go, whenever you're putting down your poly iso, make sure you stagger those joints, okay? Stagger the joints so you don't have any thermal break coming right here. Do it in two layers instead of just one layer of your ISO to avoid that thermal break. Guys, I hope this helps. Jay Rodriguez, Roof Lines, hit me up with uh, any questions. Uh, please like my videos, follow me on YouTube, and we'll see you later.